click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in the previous topic we have discussed about the acid hydrolysis of the proteins and now in this topic I am going to talk about the amphoteric behavior of the amino acids. So now let us understand that is how the amino acids are behaving amphoteric in nature. So friends, in this topic, I'm going to talk about the amphoteric behavior of the amino acid. And suppose in that case, suppose if I'm using the general formula for the amino acid, and that case is NH2, CH, R, C double bond, O, OH. So in this amino acid, we can find that is there is only one that is carboxylic group and there is only one NH2 group. So that means one is acting like a base while the other is acting like an acid so that means that they can neutralize each other so in that case suppose if we talk about acids so acids are those components which have the tendency to give the H plus ion and that is how basically this carboxylic acid group this will give its electron to this NH2 so as to form that is NH3 CH R C double bond O O minus and there will be positive charge on here so therefore this is a compound that is what we have got and this is basically dipolar in nature as you can see because there is a positive charge as well as the negative charge in the same molecule so such molecules where we could get that is positive charge and the negative charge or this dipolar molecule is basically known as pseudorion so this is the zuterion that is what we have obtained from the alpha amino acid and now let me talk about that is how the amino acids are behaving amphoteric in nature. So friends talking about the amphoteric behavior means it is nothing but a molecule suppose if it is acting like a base or suppose if it is acting like an acid then that kind of molecule is called to be amphoteric in nature. For example water, water behaves like acid also, water behaves like base also depending upon the reaction and that's the reason water is called to be an amphoteric molecule. So based on that, let us understand that is how the amino acids are amphoteric in nature. So we have got to know that is the zuterion that is NH3, CH, R, C double bond, O, O minus. Suppose if this molecule is treated with a base and the base includes that is OH minus. So that base will take away the proton that is H plus ion from here and that is what we could get that is NH2, CH, R, C double bond O, O minus anion. So here basically if OH that is a base if is reacting with this molecule then obviously this would be acidic in nature. So obviously this would be acting like an acid. And what happens if suppose if this zuterion if it undergoes through acidic hydrolysis or suppose if it reacts with in presence of an acid so in that case what happens is the hydrogen that is H plus ion it will get attached to this negatively charged O minus and that is how basically we could get that is NH3 plus this would be CHR C double bond O O H so therefore here we have got a cation while here we have got an ion so in this case basically the zuter ion that is what I am going to talk about this zuter ion is basically acting like an acid also as well as it is acting like a base also depending upon the reaction and that is how basically we have proved that is amino acids are the one which have amphoteric behavior and that's it. Thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you have understood this video very clearly and I hope I will see you next time. Till then don't forget to subscribe to channel. Thank you so much.